Hello, this is Lance Paulson. Yeah, I wanted to create this video that I think will have the most benefit for homeowners and those that own investment real estate regarding two things that I learned that are very valuable this week. So uh, first, I've had uh, two clients unfortunately suffer water losses at their house or water leaks at their house. One was under a sink, another was under their tub. Uh, the lesson that I learned here is the importance of knowing where the water turnoff valve is inside the house. So if there is a water leak, you just crank that off and it eliminates even the, maybe the need for a claim or minimizes it. We have these available for our clients and uh, just simply hanging it from the water turnoff. Now you know where it is and everyone in the house can know where it is. And then some emergency numbers to call if there ever is a water leak uh, that happens. Uh, another good thing to do is when you leave the house on vacation, turn the water off. You don't want to come home to a swimming pool in the house. Uh, another thing I learned, this is a good time of year to do this, is clean out the rain gutters. So I actually had this happen at my house. Luckily, we didn't have um, any damage from it, but in the rainstorms uh, two weekends ago, not last weekend, but the weekend prior to that, our rain gutters were clogged. Loose leaves were in the downspouts, so water was going in the gutter, then overflowing. And of course, it overflows right above a window well or somewhere that it can leak into the house. Our window well was filling. Uh, anyways, we went out there, cleared the clog, and the rain gutters worked perfectly, no damage at all. So if you haven't done that in a while, or even this year, grab, get on a ladder, clean out the rain gutters, pretty easy to do, or hire someone to do that for you. Can eliminate water leaking into the house, and a lot of times that is not covered by home insurance. Next, I had this happen at a different property of mine. We had a sewer backup. Uh, there was a break in the sewer line causing the sewage to come back into the house. Definitely not a fun problem to deal with. It is something that can be added to home insurance. Uh, it usually has to be added, doesn't come included. In my case though, you know, what I learned by this is there's a break in my sewer line, so it has to be fixed. And we got estimates from three great local plumbing companies, um, very comprehensive, very professional. They were between $2,500 and $3,500. And then we had another idea to where, what if we just hired someone to excavate, uh, we chose a professional landscaper in the area, to get a backhoe in there, dig the hole about seven feet deep, uh, three, four feet wide, and about six feet in length, exposing the broken sewer line. Then we had a great local plumber come and replace the damaged part, that landscaping company come backfill, and our total expense was 1300 so I learned a way to gosh, save a lot of money on that sewer repair, or if, you, if we had to replace it, that could be a way to save on the sewer line. So hopefully those help you. If there's any questions you have regarding the insurance or what we learned here, feel free to visit my website or contact me via the website. It is www.lancepaulson.com. Thank you.